overly getting through whatever this time is that we have going on in this country because I don't know about y'all, but... <laughs> everyone welcome back to everyone who's returning and welcome to anyone who is new um i'm sorry about my background and the glare it just comes from my blinds and <clears throat> i'm honestly in a rush to do my makeup because i really need to get to work <laughs> so um i'm not really sure what i will do but before i even get started i just want to say Thank you to everyone who has been subscribing and watching my videos and I would love if you left some feedback because um, no one ever gives me feedback. Everyone's like, oh, it's great. And I'm like, I could probably be better, but everyone is so nice. Um, I do have on a Whitney shirt. It's Black History Month. I love me some Whitney. I love Black music, so I'm just representing and... Um, before I do my look, I'm just going to go off camera and do my brows first and then I'll be back. So, I did my brows. We all know I don't do that good of a job. Um, especially when I can't really sit to do them, then it's just like... Um, I did add a little bit of concealer on my lid. Um trying to think of something like fun but I really don't have the time I cannot be late so I'm thinking that maybe I'm just gonna make this a get ready with me instead of a valentine look and I'll do a valentine look maybe for my video my Wednesday video so I have to be to work soon um the office and the uber is about 15 minutes if it's no traffic um i'm just not even sure really what i'm going for especially because i'm just i'm gonna be in a mask uh, for most of the day because um i work at a meditation center and we have class going on, so I'm going over there to prep the forms. And I'm wondering if I'll stay all day, but I think I will because I already set up my office with my supervisor. So I feel like it will probably just be easy, you know, to, to stay at work versus be at home because um until i get my procedure that i need for my pcos which is just to remove like my overgrown um uterine lining like the tissue it's like backed up and yeah it just causes me more problems but it's all good um I really hate, I've grown to hate wearing makeup when I go to work, but I realized that uh, I changed my, I guess, title on my team. Um, so I actually won't have to be like at the front desk. I'll actually just be in my office. So that's exciting to think about. I'm still going to do the admin stuff that I was doing before just because we're a very small team. So, yeah, I'm sure anyone who has done nonprofit work and even if not nonprofit, I can never talk even if it's not nonprofit work, you know. When you have a small team. You just have to make things work. Um, 
I didn't do any like glam makeup for Valentine's Day because it was also my girlfriend's birthday, which is crazy. And so I just tried to make her feel special and put the focus on her, which means I really, really, really like, okay, I'm gonna be chill, but I honestly have grown to like my little everyday makeup look. And I just went in with the e.l.f. camo concealer. I don't even know what shade, but you know, everything will be linked below. Um, I have absolutely nothing to talk about because I feel like I'm literally behind. Um, I am going to review this Morphe palette that came out. And I, is it, what is her name? She's an influencer slash makeup artist and her name is Ashley Strong. So I think she just released a collaboration or I'm not, they just released a collaboration with Morphe. I'm just saying they because I'm not 100% sure of pronouns, but yeah. And I saw the palette and um, is said it was new. So I want to do that as well this week. Um, I'm just trying to learn like how to really balance my work slash life slash uh, YouTube, even though I don't get paid from YouTube and I'm new to it. I enjoy doing it. So I want to make time for it because usually what I will do is just, um, I know I'm into something. I know I'm interested every video. You can tell, like, <laughs> my blankets and everything. It just kills me. I just got... One, I always see um, lint in my video just fly flying around. From my throw blankets, I have, like, these fuzzy throw blankets. And I'm just going all around my neck. I have these fuzzy throw blankets because... The apartment gets really cold. Like I feel like I'm outside, and you know it. In my rent, my utilities are included, but the heat that we have is like um, it just blows out, and then it'll get hot for I don't know, maybe let's see, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. It'll be hot up in here. I'm talking about burning up, right? like you're going through it but um when you i'm sorry i'm starting to think about work and i know i'm all over the place with this video but yeah it gets cold so if you see the little flurries i'm sorry i'm filming right beside my bed that's how small my apartment is um but yeah, I don't have a good work-life balance and I'm working on setting boundaries because I think with any job, if they think you're willing to do everything, they will put it on you. No questions asked. And I realized that I'm so willing to help people. I just take things on without really thinking about if I'm actually capable of it all the time, but I make it so that I'm capable. But then it's like, I still have my own responsibilities that I have to handle. And if I am spending all my time doing everything for everyone else, then that won't get done. And then I look bad. So that's just like, yeah, life. Boundaries are important in every aspect of your life. And I'm really someone who didn't understand that or like how important boundaries are up until the last few years when I realized like people really don't care who respect your boundaries or respect anything that you are personally going through. And I'm not even talking about, I'm not even talking about my job per se. Um, but just in life, like, I don't know, the main things that I want to work on for myself are 
really self-discipline because I've never had it. Um, but I know that it's because I do have um, health issues that actually do affect my mental health. But I still feel that I'm responsible as much as I can be just to make sure that I'm putting myself um, in situations that are good for my mental health. So, yeah. I'm a very anxious person. Like, it's honestly absolutely ridiculous. Like, it, the way I will cancel on things if I'm anxious, like, I think the worst scenarios. And, yeah, I mean, it could be like, okay, I have to go to work. I'm thinking, oh my God, I hope I don't crash and burn and die. That's how bad it can be. And I know what it stems from. Um, I had, I do have trauma, but I'm working through it and I just want to make sure that I am showing up for people and everything that I'm using will be tagged below. It's the same old stuff. I don't really, I guess, I don't know. I don't really explore when it comes to foundation and everything only because I've been orange way too many times, like pumpkin orange, like I just want to find a makeup photo from college and compare it to now. But then I'm like, what if my makeup skills didn't get that much better? We'll see. Let me spray my face before I blend out this first layer of concealer. And I don't know. I don't know. I didn't even set any goals for this week. I think that this week I'm just not going to have any expectations because all I do is obsess about the same old things and I am working on a solution. So while I'm working on that solution, there's no need for me to obsess over the negative. And that's something that a lot of my friends have taught me because, you know, like I mentioned in another video, like, you know, when you get online, you see people in photos and stuff, they're smiling, they look happy, but you truly never know what people are going through and it doesn't have to be the worst of the worst end of the world. But it's like, as people, like, we all need to make sure that each other, you know, is okay and that we're all really getting through whatever this time is that we have going on in this country because I don't know about y'all, but every day I'm more confused. Like I'm not understanding how there are so many different problems that exist and they over here, child, I know all my non-vegans see the the vegan everything meatless because the earth i feel like the earth is just it's messed up and it's almost as if they want us to be delusional like it's so many things going on in the world i'm not getting on the metaverse i'm not no i'm not doing that I just don't see the point and I'm 26 years old. I know I'm not that old. I am not sure if it's like a little glitch happening or what is going on in this world, but I don't know. It feels weird. I feel like I stepped back in time almost like the way everyone is obsessed with nostalgia in the nineties and the early two thousands. And I feel like everyone is like, collectively trying to disassociate and not deal with the problems that we have going on and that has been happening for so long that we are now forced to deal with it like we can't just keep ignoring it and i'm saying this i have no action plan i don't know what to do myself but i don't know i just feel like we have to show up for each other like i feel like the world is just cruel i don't know <sighs> Thank <laughs> you.
I don't know. It stresses me really to think about. Like, I don't even plan to have kids, but if I did, I would be terrified because what am I leaving you behind? And that's what I think about. What kind of world is this, you know? Not to say the world was ever a wonderful place because I feel like these similar type of problems have probably plagued the world since it began. I don't know why, but that's what I feel like. Um, uh, I'm going to be very honest and say I don't think I have ever, ever, ever finished... Um, reading the the bible yeah either version to be quite honest oh my god look at my forehead i did not mean to say that oh my gosh oh my gosh look at my forehead um but yeah I don't know. I just, I don't know. I always said I would do more research into like how we have evolved into now, but I don't know. Every time I look into anything, I'm like, is this even real? Like, I don't know. Every day I'm like, what is real? What is not? So... Right now, I'll, I look a little bit more refreshed, less um, tired. I'm really just trying to hurry up. Um, I'll still get there on time or like at a good time. Like I'll definitely make it, but uh, I like to try to get over there as early as possible because sometimes students come you know i tell people to come 15 minutes before their class to fill out their forms and to do whatever else they may want to do or to ask questions you know like they can sit with their teacher and, and ask questions about the course and everything and um yeah Sorry, I stopped talking. I just kind of lost my thought, but yeah. Um, usually I set up for courses like what the Friday before, but yesterday I took like, I don't know if I took a personal day or sick day. I don't really quite remember, but my supervisor has been, um, letting me off because she knows that like yeah my health is just up right now like yeah it's it's so stressful and then i don't know for me ever since i didn't know that i had pcos until december 2021 but i i wish i wonder if i can just count up my <laughs> my emergency room visits from like maybe 2016 or so yeah oh my gosh i don't know why when i do my makeup but it's rough and i don't like that but i okay i don't look so tired but yeah, I be stressed every day. For real, for real. Like, I be thinking I'm doing something in this world, but I could do more to help people. And I am trying to go from this mindset of I want more of this, 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 and I just I'm really learning to just be grateful. And I think that sometimes. When people are chasing, you know, success or whatever they're chasing, their dream, they 
don't give themselves enough credit or enough praise for continuing because honestly i'm the type of person i wouldn't consider myself as someone who would give up necessarily but once i'm not able to do things the way i want to how i want um i get kind of frustrated and i don't know I feel like I can sometimes be very inconsistent. I love doing multiple things, but I'm trying not to be that person that's caught up in monetizing like everything that they love doing, if that makes sense. So that's, that's just where I'm at. And I'm just gonna spray my face real quick. I'm not gonna wear any lashes. I I don't know. For me, it's hard to wear lashes, like either when it's too cold or it's too hot. I have dry eyes and everything irritates them. Like I would not be surprised if when I'm doing my mascara, if <laughs> if my um if my face just runs really why did I say if my face runs? If my eyes tear up, that's what I meant to say. But I'm just mixing two colors that are in my Julius Place palette and using it as a blush because I don't think I have to get on Zoom today, but I will be sitting in my office at least. So. trying to cornrow my locks now to put a wig over it even to do box braids like it just feels like unreal like are you doing this i'm not doing it okay. and really I don't know what I'm gonna do for lipstick. That is actually like. My little signature lip combo. I don't know. The only other burgundy lipstick I have that I could use. Is this Kat Von D. And yeah, I do have an eyelash curler, but I never use it because of my dry eyes. I feel like it just would make my eyeline. I'm gonna try it. And I just kind of bend it a little bit. But yeah, I don't know. I don't. I definitely try not to be caught up in like becoming obsessed with like productivity sometimes because let me tell you all something. It's so easy to if you have ever struggled with like depression or like I don't know yeah it's a number of things but I have struggled with like um I'm just like I, uh, I'm gonna say I want to say quote-unquote addiction but uh when I was in college to cope with depression I definitely had like a, a terrible relationship um with drinking and i feel like when you are someone who used to rely heavily on something and you don't do it anymore you're always looking for something that you can consistently do um that will give you that same type of feeling and so sometimes i'll get like that like 
when I'm into something, but then I'll lose interest and it'll be something new. So it's like, girl, you got to pick something and stick to it because because if you don't pick something and stick to it and try things out, you know, different things, like you won't really be able to grow, you know? So that's really what I try to think of is like, I do want to grow and yeah i want to grow i want to learn more about um just different things that i'm passionate about no let me go find my i truthfully don't even remember my last point but I don't know it's just like I really understand the phrase you can be your own worst enemy sometimes that's how I feel about myself when I make promises to myself and I don't keep it it's like Like, how could I do that to myself, you know? So that's how I feel. I just don't have any any goals. Because I don't want to put myself in a place to disappoint myself. When I can just work on being grateful for all that I already have accomplished. And just wait for the things that I want to accomplish. I don't know about anyone else in my age range, but I don't know. Uh-uh. Yeah. Anybody with PCOS who has, uh, like, excess hair, please tell me. How do you keep it in place? Because I didn't put, child, I put powder and everything. I don't know what to do. But let me see if I put more powder, would that help? That shit in a face mask. I don't want to be looking like, you know. Mm -mm. Okay, okay, there we go. There we go. I'm not even going to. Oh. I don't know why I be cute in the face for work, but the rest of my body be like, what is going on? I like. My weight will be like up and down. And so I just need to go clothes shopping when I get some money. But yeah, this is my finished look. I don't really want to do my edges. I may put a head scarf on and then I'll come back and show you all. I just have no goals for this week, but just to make my YouTube videos and to balance myself a little bit more and make sure that I am organized so that things flow smoothly and they don't have to be chaotic because things have been chaotic and it's definitely my fault because I need to learn to be more prepared um and I know for me personally sometimes it feels impossible to to think about being prepared when you're still grasping the fact that like, wow, I'm living life, I'm enjoying life. And it's not something I thought I would do. Like I was telling my girlfriend that I never imagined myself living to be almost 27. So the fact that I am about to be 27 in a few months is just like, so yeah, I just want to not have any expectations for myself. Um, but to just try to be happy and embrace things as they come and see how the week goes. So this is <laughs> the finished look. It's really not much because um, 
I'm going to be a mask in a mask when I greet people who come for their courses, but I'll mainly be in my office just in case I need to get on Zoom. I try to not look like I wasn't prepared uh, to have a face to face with anyone and I'll fix like my head scarf. But thank you for chatting with me or me chat with myself and you listening. Um, yeah, I hope that everyone has a great week, whether or not you set intentions for it. And I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.